Hello, hello, welcome to the start now of week 8 of our PMA LCS action. We've got Boosted Grill Monkeys versus Bear Junior Poops in the Woods on the side of the 9 o'clock matchups. My name's Jirachi, I'm joined by, for the first time in a while actually, we've got Gert. Hello. Hello. When was the last time you casted? I believe it was like the third game of the very first split of the PMA LCS. So forever ago, basically. Forever in a day, Rich. Forever in a day. Forever in a day. Oh my god, my music's too loud. Okay, there we go. There we go. Spoken like a true Symphonian. Yeah, basically. So yeah, already into pick band. The Blitzcrank starting off. I mean, what did we expect? Uh, I think that's a very intelligent ban on the side of BGM. Uh, obviously, uh, Bear Jr. is a god on the crank. The crank. The crank. Ooh, we have a Malphite ban. It's it's one of the better picks for Jimmy. Like it's it's simpler. It's and he will, he's been looking really good on that pick. Oh yeah, I've I've noticed a lot with um with Jimmy that he does very well with tanky um, top laners that are really good at starting fights. I mean, he's definitely comfortable on those picks. Oh, and we've got the Anivia ban, another given. It's just classic <laughs> bans right now for on the side of BGM. Poo, the, Ma the Malphite isn't a standard ban against BGM, but mm -hmm. the Ziggs is going to be the second ban. Ooh, and Greg has definitely been doing very well on the Ziggs in the PMA LCS, for sure. Um, Gurg7 has been very good at those wave clear mages. Um, very good at stalling the game. They're gonna leave up the York though for Austin. Oh. Well, they, if, if they I do not first pick that. But does Jimmy? I don't think Jimmy plays it. Does Jimmy play it? I I was talking to them. They're not really worried about the York, and I'm not worried about the York. I'm just thinking he does much better on the York than really any of his other picks. Yeah, the Urgot is quite formidable, though. Like, I don't think anybody should discount um, his Urgot, because I think it's mostly that nobody really knows how to play against it. <laughs> um, but he's very good at just split pushing. That is his thing. Um, ooh, the Malzahar ban. And we also have a Bard ban, too. That's very, very good. Now, something I don't see with the, uh, the the bans from BGM is they haven't banned Lee Sin yet. And we all know, I mean, I don't know if you guys know, but Labby does play a pretty good Lee Sin. But, yeah. As long as he builds a jungle item. As long as he builds a jungle item. Well, but Labby maybe? does play Lee Sin, and I've heard yeah. it's very good. It's his, it's his comfort. Like, for sure. It's hit or miss, but it's comfort. But they're going to first oh, pick the Zerath. That's going to be the pick that's... away from Haramoy. It leaves up Yorick. Oh. Yeah, and Greg is going to be or be very, very oh, wait, good. And he's at so good at Zerus. It is oh scary. my god. Um, oh. oh Jesus. Okay. This is gonna be a time. That Zerith is scary. I I I did not like playing against it one bit. Playing <clears throat> for some bands. Now, what may, might be kind of cool is if uh, we might see a Maokai for Jimmy. He has been playing that very well, too. Uh, okay. Oh. You know, Misfortune is a very high priority pick, uh, this split in the PMA LCS, oh, because of so just how stupid, how stupid she is with her damage output. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, it, it, trust me. I mean, if there's an ADC that can make OB even look good, then you know for a fact that it's... <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! He's your ADC! <laughs> it's okay. Oh my god. Well, we all know I can hear him. Oh! We're gonna see an Alistar, an Alistar Oh boy. Oh. You should definitely, like, discount the Thresh, though, coming from Bear Jr. Um, his Thresh is also very scary. Uh, it's like his discount Blitzcrank pick. Discount Blitzcrank. <laughs> he is gonna get some pretty good picks. Now, the Alistar is a really good pick, though, into the Thresh. And with Alistar being the highest win rate support, um, as of yesterday for me checking, uh, the Aftershock proc 
if timed correctly uh, upon the threshing gauge, should be a very good counter for that lane. And the instant CC can interrupt the misfortune hold. So I think that's a very good pick on the side of BGM. And um, I think Alistair Moody is going to just completely wreck with it. And the driver is also scary too. I mean, you know, it's it's Jarman. Another very strong yeah. uh, jungle or top. Yeah, definitely way up there in priority. But see Oh, the Vigar. Yeah, oh yeah, the Vigar coming in. I'm uh, I don't have my matchup spreadsheet open right now, but the Zaya is going to be the ban away from Piper. Good ban. Piper's Just really good on Zaya, and they let the Yorick Oh, through they ban the picks, so they are going to ban in second round, uh, which is so. Now, smart. what this what this could ensue is, I think um, Hillary Clinton might be on the Nasus this game, um, simply because he has been playing that a lot lately, and the split pushing power of Nasus is so good that it just like fits into his champion pool. He's just very good at those split pushers, um, so that might okay. be. Oh yeah, and I think that I think that's probably gonna be uh, a possible option on the side of Pooh. Yeah, I, I wonder what Piper goes for for his ADC here. I think he might go for an Ezreal. Ezreal is really good into Misfortune, and mm -hmm. he's played Tristan. it before. A trip with the Trist band. He, the, oh, he's played he's Zaya, man. Trist, oh. Misfortune, and Ezreal display. Mm. So he's gonna be playing a new ADC this game. Then again, he still has like he still has a sever in his back pocket. He, his sever is very he, solid. His, yes. Um, and it would be good against Thresh too, um, which, coming from what I've been able to see with Pooh, is that they are very good when it comes to getting their picks. Oh. So if they can get that sever, then it should be a pretty good setup. It is an Echo Jungle. Okay. Ooh, oh. spicy. The Jarvan, I'm. I mean, if he gets Cataclysm, then he gets out easily. That's... I don't know anything about these jungle matchups. Let's see, we have... You know, I honestly have never seen Labby play his Echo, but... Oh, that, there's Vades, an Outback. Vade spotting! Oh my god, okay, Let's Rich, go! I'm gonna have to here. Like, other than the fact that there was a vein in our game from last night, uh, I am not too familiar. Oh, you're cutting it. Oh god. All of Discord's having issues. RIP. Oh, and there's the Kled coming out for um, Hillary Clinton. I have not seen him play Kled before. Uh, what's, what's your take on this one, Rich? I'm sorry, I had some... I'm... Uh, technical difficulties, but that's okay. yeah. Also, you're cutting out a little bit. Discord has been terrible. Recently. Oh, that is unfortunate. Um, let me try to up my mic here. Sorry, right, I'm sorry. like I'm like kind of silent right now. <laughs> Hold That's on. okay. <laughs> I was adjusting the I'm, microphone. Now, if if things get bad enough, we could always go to Teamspeak. Um, yeah. As an absolute. I think I deleted Teamspeak. <laughs> you are such a scrub. I. <laughs> I don't use it. Wait, let me see if I still have it. Nope. I don't want to download it while the stream is running, so we'll work with it. If you cut out, at least I'm play by play, so it's fine. Not that you don't matter. We won't have informed viewers. Something. <laughs> I'll go post on Facebook, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, both teams are looking very strong right now. Um, I would say that uh, it looks like BGM is definitely more of a team fight oriented. Um, kind of comp, whereas the uh, the team comp for Pooh actually looks more of... It could be a potential pick comp, um, especially leading with the Thresh. 
I, I've, I've noticed that they, you know, oftentimes trying to get around um, Bear Jr. making those excellent hooks on Thresh or Blitzcrank. Um, so it's going to be really exciting to see where this goes. Um, but I think they're going to heavily rely on uh, Greg doing what he normally does, which is doing that wave clear on the mid laner and um, stalling out the game. So hopefully uh, the Vigar can get past that. I think that's going to be a very good point of contention in the mid lane. Let's see. <clears throat> now the only thing that I could see having an issue is uh, top lane. It, it, top lane is going to be a very rough matchup, I think, for either or. Um, probably for the Kled. Um, Kled's going to want to go ham, and Maokai just has that sustain. I mean, Kled passive does that as well, but uh, I think it's going to be very rough for Hillary Clinton to do what he does against a Maokai, uh, just from that heavy CC. If he can manage to split push well like he normally does, I think it'll be set, uh, but it's just going to be a Cut out, rip. Rip, Kurt. It's okay. What? You you cut out. No. Something about okay. You think something. Do what? You you. It ended on like think, and that's it. Oh, I think it's gonna be an interesting matchup for Austin to say the least. Okay. I, I it'll be rough on the uh, Led into Maokai. Has he? He's played Kled at some point, hasn't he? I, I've seen it maybe a couple times, but I, I haven't seen him play it as much as he has his Yorick. Urgot or his Yorick or even Bard Top, you know. I'm going to be really excited to see, not only as an Alistair main myself, um, but as, you know, a fan of the champion. <laughs> Alice, that's the same thing. Uh, well, you know what I'm saying. At, at, I, I mean, you can be a, a, a main of a champion and not be a fan of it. Like, uh, I mained Janna through ranked from getting silver to gold, and I absolutely hated every minute of it. I hate Janna. I hate that champion. I felt guilty playing it, but I was absolutely abusing the Ardent Sensor meta. Um, but I really uh, want to yeah. see Alistair Moody on this. Oh, uh, we actually have a request, Rich, from Opie, oh. uh, if you would like him to cast with us or not. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, in here. If you... Yeah. Um... Oh, wait, hold on. I'll send him an invite link to Discord. Don't tell him I shit-talked him. <laughs> and champ select. <laughs> hey, Opie, Kurt shit talked you in champ select. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hear me say that. What are we talking about? Oh wait, do we see some Malkai support memes? You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, think... it's gonna be now. Al His name is Alistair Moody. Like, it's gonna be Alistair for him. Yeah, what do I need to like change my name to to like show that I play that champion? I don't know. I like having the, the horn pick. Uh, it's um. You know, I, uh, I've legitimately thought... Oh, oh, sorry, it's not Alistar Moody, it's Air Senor. I mean, there's, there's a lot of name changes tonight going on, apparently, and I'm done. Looking at soy -gurt. Like, it sounds like soy yogurt, but it's also soy -gurt, as in, like, I, I am gurt, oh my gurt God. in Spanish. But that would require me to actually make an effort to go get a LAN account. Uh, I wanna... <laughs> if I make a LAN account, I'm gonna make its name so. Soy soy un gay, soy un gay. Yeah, <laughs> it's just I'm a gay. <laughs> hey, did you send out the uh, invitation to Opie? Yet the Discord link, yes. Yeah. Well, so while we're sitting in here hey. waiting for Spectale, who do you, who do you think wins this? Uh, you know, honestly, I think that. Uh, BGM is going to win this. I, I think unless the only thing I could see being a factor in 
Poo winning is if Misfortune gets ahead. Um, but I think as far as team fights go, I, I, I gotta give it to BGM, hands down. Yeah, I'm... Uh, both... I like both comps, but I, just, I don't really know about the Echo. Um... Uh, who has a quite a bit of pick potential, but then they have a random misfortune and Clyde that don't really fit in great. They don't have any hard engage. The Clyde can speed in, but like yes. that's that that's meant to enable an engage, not be the engage. Yeah. BGM, I, BGM can engage with Alistar, Jarvan, or Malkai. They have so many engage options, and even if they fall behind, they have a vein like. Stall out to late. Zareth has wave clear. They can use that to stall out the game, and then play protect the vein once 35 minutes hits, and they'll be all set. So yeah, I give this one to BGM as well. So yeah, we've been talking about the teams for a little bit, and so I guess it's time for some player introductions. On the blue side, it's the boosted Gorilla Monkeys, the current first place team in the top lane, Big D Jimmy in the jungle. It's going to be Fish Baby Bot. Gurg7 in the mid lane, Piper is, 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 will be your AD carry. And Bear Senor, formerly Alistar Moody, is the support. And on the red side, I do believe, I haven't done this in a while, uh, we have Hillary Clinton in the top lane on Kled for Bear Jr. Proops in the woods. Uh, then we have Labby on Echo for the jungle. And then we have Hiramar on his Vigar for the mid. We've got that random guy you know on Misfortune for the ADC. And then we have Bear Jr. on the Thresh for the support role. Let's see. I'm pretty... I think, honestly, uh, we're going to have a lot of skirmishes go on. Uh, during laning phase. I, I don't know about you, Rich, but I, I could just see that happening. Um, I think Labby's going to try and get some good ganks off early to try and snowball some lanes ahead. But at the same time, I think that Fish Baby is just going to be putting him work like he has been this last week. Uh, I didn't watch the game that he played in, but I've heard some pretty good things about his jungling. Yeah, fi Fish Baby... Started out the split, he looked good. I think he, he was super not really like highly rated coming into the split. And then once like things got going, he just started looking better and better. In the past few weeks, he's just looked like an absolute beast. So, uh -huh. yeah, I kind of expect him to out jungle Labby in all honesty. And also, Labby had his Lee Sin up but didn't go for it. So. Well, and you know, I mean, Labby does play a pretty good Lee Sin, from what I've been hearing. So, you know, I, I, I think Labby might be trying uh, his hand at different junglers. I, I think I've actually played with him where he's jungled Echo, and I, I, from what I can recall, he actually did a pretty good job on it. And with, you know, the changes for Echo recently, that gives him that buff against jungle mon or jungle monsters with that extra damage... Uh, he's definitely a viable jungle pick. Well, I'll talk for a bit more. I'll, I need to get a thing. I'll be back in a minute. Legendary uh, feeder, Michael Opik, aka Opi. And he's muted. Right, here. Hey, I definitely didn't shit talk you in champ select. Oh, we got an invade here. the Vigar. So here Mars already got that lead. Oh my god, did I miss uh I missed the yeah, first Rich. one. No. You're boosted. You're so boosted. In the first minute? Are you, I didn't expect that. Expect everything. Well, I mean, what what made you not think that they would invade when they have a Thresh? And Bear Jr is playing Thresh. Shut up. Did you please tell me you at least said something? I did say something. Good, thanks. I mean, unless it cut out. <laughs> unless it did cut out. But, I really uh, hope it didn't. That, that would not be my fault, unfortunately. That would be the lack of a Blame stable Discord, Discord server. <laughs> Blame a Discordo. That's what I should tell. If, if anybody does lose this game, I'll tell them. Discord. 
Hashtag fire discord, something like that. Hashtag fire discord. Uh, so Rich, I am actually quite unfamiliar with the, uh, the interface here. How do I... I'll go in... Oh, you cut out for a second. Hold up. So go into settings and just look up all the hotkeys. Who does that? Who was talking about? All right, so, um... And if Opie wants to say anything, are you actually, like, in the same spectating area as we are, Mikey? Opie's muted. That's how we Sorry, doing. I was getting my setup already, uh, okay. but yes. So, Yay, we have an Opie! What time are we at now? Go 15 to 16. If you guys are a bit ahead of me, it's fine. Just don't spoil much. Too much. Oh, Bear Jr. looking for the play onto Piper, and he's gonna actually land the hook on the Alistar Moody slash Bear Senor, but the double knockup ends the trade. They, the Vayne Alistar doesn't really want to be trading this early, but that was actually yeah. a pretty good body block on the hook from the, the Alistar. Absolutely. Uh, the only thing I would probably say is um, with that Aftershock proc, that might be a good way for them to trade uh, early on that. <clears throat> but I, I think in the regards of uh, that hook, though, I, I don't know if that would have been a good idea. However, yeah, oh, we got a gank. Oh, we got a gank. Oh my god. And fish the was going to take it away, but Fish Baby Bot doesn't actually get Deep. anything out of it. Hillary Clinton didn't even burn Flash. Nope. Rip. Yeah, the same is actual guy. Cutting out. Do what? Hello? Oh, we're gonna see a gank mid from Labby. Uh, yeah. Greg just dropped the ward, so we actually caught him in his hiding spot. Nice little peekaboo there. Oh, there's the, there's the bounce. Doesn't do that much damage early yet. And actually, okay, so Piper is going the Korean Relic Shield build, which you take Overheal, Legend, a Legend Bloodline, Fleet Footwork. And then you start with a Relic Shield, that way you get three pots and a bit of sustain. And also you give some gold back to your support. And then, so you build, get your Shiv Infinity Edge like normal. And then after you've completed the gold quest, you actually get Argons, because it gives you a shield. And mm -hmm. combined with Overheal, that's like a 500 health shield going into fights. You top a Bloodthirster on top of that, 800 health extra pre-fight is huge. But, Ooh, we speaking of fights, in the top lane... Top lane. <laughs> and that's the end of it. Oh yeah, just just whenever a fight happens, I got it, just saying. The uh, passive, and go for the Maokai to try and get that Blizzard back. Or is he going to play back? I think the biggest thing for top lane, as far as Hillary Clinton goes, is whether or not he'll be able to kill Maokai um, once they get some items. Because that's just going to be very, very rough to do. Oh, well, but Jimmy's going in. He's got uh, Hillary oh, Clinton got super low. Oh, Hillary Clinton is flash. almost back on Scarl, but Jimmy is back out of range. Hillary oh. Clinton's going back oh. in. Doesn't oh, quite get Scarl. One more out flashes in, but he does get Scarl. Oh. And Jimmy now has pressed the attack box going on him, and that's going to be the solo kill for Hillary Clinton. Well, that answered my question. <laughs> very, very uh, solid kill on Hillary Clinton there. Um, we actually had a tower dive bot lane uh, where it appeared that Bear Jr. had landed a hook and then went in to play, um, but was countered by the Alistair headbutt plus some exhaust from uh, Alistair Moody. Uh, so that was actually a pretty good play there on the Alistair. For filming me and all the other fights. I don't see an Alistair Moody, I see a, a bear senior. Well, senior. he changed his name. So. <laughs> it's fine. Actually, I will. Piper is keeping up pretty much perfectly even in CS with Random Guy, which does not spell well for a misfortune. He really should be just destroying this vein right now, but it's they're, they're just not applying the pressure. And I mean, yeah, I, a, a vein having one of the highest CS totals in the game. That's and not staying even. even. It's situation. No. Now I think. God, this, I hate this cord right now. Well, meanwhile, top lane, Jimmy, an into an Alistair lane. 
Um, because Alistair is just going to cancel any sort of engage that they have if he times out his uh, abilities correctly. Which, I mean, all things considered, Alistair Moody has been doing a very good job uh, peeling back this Thresh. So I, I think it's going to be very difficult for them to apply that pressure. Okay, well, okay, I, I got this. Discord's still, like, cutting out and everything, but if a fight's going on, and you might be cut out, just, if you don't hear me talking and there's a fight happening, just assume I'm talking, <laughs> like, in all honesty. <laughs> now okay, because, yeah, back yeah I've, I've heard some random cutouts here, so I don't know. Yeah, blame Discord. Yeah, Discord yeah. servers are just being horrendous. Um, but, yeah, in the mid lane here, Mark got his flash forced out, uh, Gurg7, putting on a ton of damage. Bear Bear Jr. is so oh. far ahead of random guy. Okay, oh. well, Hook's also gonna miss. Big Dick Jimmy has the big plays and the big damage on the Hillary Clinton. He's half health. Hook's off Scarl. I don't even that, they ignore that. Ignore that series of words. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Scarl is just so annoying just because, you know, in the middle of a fight and you think you're just about to kill him and. He hops back on Scarl and gains a ton of health back. It's... Oh, we got a fish baby boss found here. Mar will use the Cataclysm oh, in to get to the Electric Cube plot. Brock, but Labby is here, but Gurk7 picks up the kill onto Hiramar before Labby can do anything. Fish baby bot flashes out. Labby also burned his flash, so Sumner's spell trade and an extra kill for BGM. Meanwhile, top lane, Jimmy gonna knock Hillary Clinton off a of Scarl, but that is going to be the end of trade. He's actually doing quite well for himself in this top lane. He is 9 CS up on the Maokai and has quite a big health advantage. He also has a mana advantage. Advantage, considering Hillary Clinton has mana, ha ha ha, bad joke. Yeah. Just like your ADC. There's, there's plenty of manaless champions in this game. There's there's some in this game in particular. You got the Kled, and then in general you got Shen, Freaks, Caitlyn, Zed, uh, etc. Uh, overused joke. I've said that joke on stream before. Har har har. Wait, oh my, Gert, Gert 7 is destroying Hiramar in CS right now. Oh my Despite gosh, Despite Hiramar yeah. having the early kill. That 20, 20 CS lead right now, Jesus. Ugh. Yeah, Hiramar's just been forced out of lane a couple times. Uh, oh. Almost killed, forced to flash away, and then... Oh, Hillary Clinton's almost got Scarl back. The Twist Advent's gonna come in right... Oh, but Gert 7 is here with the Xerathar Hillary. Just gonna force Hillary Clinton back. Very though. clutch. Not even the Scarl. By Hillary. I'm gonna take him off Scarl. They're gonna have some pressure. Top lane. Oh, Gurk Gurk's not actually keeping back to mid lane to defend it from here, Mar. Even though Fish Bob was there, I'm not 100% sure he needs to do that. But I, I, I don't know. Jimmy almost yeah, has his team back up, so they will have it. Down bot lane here. It looks like the uh, it looks like Bear Junior's trying to make plays here, but it's gonna be really rough again. Like I said, with that Alistair. Um, I've just been kind of eyeing that while well, there's all that stuff going on on the map. Wait, it's, it's a very tough lane to just go into. I told which you Alistair Moody is doing his job for sure. This isn't something you look at often, but the CS lead on support. Alistair Moody has a 20 CS lead. They both have relic shields, but oh. in the meantime, gang top lane, the Hellwick clan actually is going to back off while Labby wants to go in, so that gang's not going to do much of anything. But anyway, back, yeah, back to bot lane. Bear Senor slash Alistair Murray is actually getting these Relic Crocs up, getting and some for farm, and also getting a double knockup. Oh, He's gonna use the stun oh. onto Bear Jr. actually. Piper not in range to actually return more no. damage, but Fish Baby oh. in with the flying oh, attack and the Carbon Oh my gosh, but bro, the misfortune this... bullet no. time. He Ooh. doesn't have items, so he's not gonna do quite enough Piper damage. Piper getting away drag. by oh. one of his teeth. Oh my gosh. So many low health bars here. Oh, Gurg gonna miss the stun onto Labyrinth, and that plus the bait engage. There's a dead Gurg 7. Here, more picking up a kill. Nicely ganked by Labby. Rich, have you ever thought about being a flight attendant? Like, you've got, like, the perfect voice for Do it. Do I really? Yeah, like, for real. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that think was, I've ever heard that before. That was you, so weird. Can, can you do us a favor and say, you know, thank you for flying Southwest Airlines or something like that? I, I swear, it's just like... Um... Perfect. Okay, hold on no. a second. The captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Thank you all for flying Southwest Airlines. Oh my god, that was perfect. Wait, actually? <laughs> <laughs> I see a potential career opportunity for oh you. God, you know, if I don't like make it in music, which I actually want to do. <laughs> yeah, well, meantime, oh. Jimmy is just 
bullying Hillary Clinton out of lane is keeping the 10 CS lead. And meanwhile, Bot actually, a random guy has pulled out to a 15 CS lead himself. I think actually off the back, mostly with Bear Jr. putting some presence on the lane, scaring off Piper. And. I mean, Piper Junior does have the wave. He has the wave in a good spot. He'll be able to catch up. As long as he doesn't get killed or fall too far behind, he'll be perfectly happy. Oh, we might be seeing a play bot lane here from oh, Labby. Yeah, we got Labby. Bear Senior does have his ult up. And he will use it to get away from the threshold. Oh, oh he's in for the pull, but will go oh, down for it. The this teleport coming in from oh, Jimmy. Labby is so low. Will ult back Jimmy. in, but they're going to take down Labby for that. The team coming in as well from the play. They're going to just gang up on Jimmy. Artillery coming in. They have a lot of damage. They're going to go on to Bear Jr. They have the stun. They have the damage eventually. There we go. Fish Baby Bot actually stealing the kill with the flag. But equal TPs uh, and two, two kills for one over to BGM. Somebody give that man a Titanic theme video, please. God. That, that, was, that, that, that had, was a good that, sacrifice that, that, for the That good. price was disgusting! Oh my yeah. god! That made me moist. That, that made, made me very moist. moist. And oh. I'm an ADC main. And they got the first turret there uh, from... And they're gonna get Dragon. GM. Yeah, overall they just had the better, the better rotation, so they were able to get there first and get more damage off first. Absolutely. And we haven't this... been doing top 5 plays of the week, but that is a top 5 play of the week right there. Oh, we've got a Hillary Clinton charging in, but the, another double combo, and Lavi just gets melted. That Maybe Bob picks up a kill. Random guy. Oh, next flash the... in from Piper picks up that kill. Two more kills. This is just disastrous for Pooh. They're going after Hiramar, forcing his flash blast cones away, but another two kills? BGM running away with this game. Yeah, see, Rich, this is what I was talking about with the uh, enchant deck. As far as like how their team fight is going to go for BGM, I think it would just ultimately crush Pooh in the fights, and it has definitely been showing that. Um, oh, Baby got a hook, hook, the hook and, but not going to let the hook actually fall. Trading, and trading there the aftershocks there. Yeah, the supports. Dude, okay. Alistar oh, Alistar Moody is playing so well. What the hell? Oh my god. He gets my my uh. Alistair main props. The the Gert seal of approval. I think every support watching this is just extremely moist. I'd, I'd have no shame about saying that on the street. I don't know about you, Rich, but I'm wet <laughs> from that from those Alistair plays. I don't think moist <laughs> is gonna cut it. Oh my god. Okay. Um. I'm sure. I guess oh, we're going there. Piper rotating top. Uh, to grab that farm. And Piper Piper Probably has a kill and two assists, so he's he'll he'll be fine. He'll be all yeah. fine. Uh, that that just spells scary for me because anytime a Vayne can get ahead. Let's see, what's the gold like? He's only a hundred gold ahead of random guy. But the fact the word he ahead is like... in there on the vein, oh. that's brutal. All the polarized will not get a chance to headbutt in the Hillary Clinton, but forces him away, and now the BGM bot lane just gonna pressure this top tower in. I mean, the lane swap's the way to go. They got the bot tower. Mm -hmm. Now they just pressure in top tower. It's just, this is just how you play Mac, the macro game. Absolutely. And we have Gurk7 doing what he normally does, and just steamrolling those minion waves mid. Stereth is so dumb for that. Stereth is actually in a really good spot right now, and it's just like... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bear Jr. looking for Atlanta. Oh. Piper is in a weird position. Oh, Ooh, the I nice tumble, the dot to hook. Bear Senor oh, will get played away, but he held the pulverize. He picks up the kill for his trouble, and there's the Cataclysm in, forcing out the stopwatch from Hiramar. He won't be long for this world. So, burns the barrier. Why even bother? Like, you were dead. Uh, yeah. And yeah, Piper has a second up. kill. That was, that was a... He, Bear Senor held the pulverize. That was actually really good. Like, even that little fight. Uh, Kill stealing supports are awful people, and they should never, ever. Says uh, the kill stealing support. <laughs> actually, no, that was actually a pretty good play there. Yeah, and even uh, the vein tumble to avoid. Oh the, my god, oh, that tumble like, is godlike. Uh, Piper was, is. It was okay. The thing about, I mean, vein tumbles like hitboxes are weird, and if you do it too late, even if it looks like you dodge, the hook will still hit. It was, it was uh, the tumble was instant, and like he. Part of it, he knew it was coming, but like the reaction yeah. was just yes, could be yes, Piper. That flank could have turned out horribly, but because he dodged the hook. Could we possibly be seeing uh, 
the lowest vein spotting points in the game LCS. so far? Yeah, probably. I, I haven't counted any vein spotting. He hasn't died. Yeah, if you want to see, like, set a record for vein spotting, just have, uh, uh Obi, okay. like, hold my beer. The uh, five, uh, bro, 5v5, that panda. <laughs> <I counted. laughs> 200-something vein spotting points. That was... <laughs> Somebody get that person a pizza. So, yeah, we've got a 4k gold lead already building, well, 3.5k gold lead building up for GM 17 minutes. That's pretty good. I can play bot here. Yeah. Uh, you cut there. out there, Rich, so I just yeah. had to say something. Uh, oh, no, you're fine. Oh, but who are going to get something back? They are going to get this tower that brings the gold back just a little bit to only 2k now. You get a tower. Yeah, oh, more trading, or trap on rope, not gonna pull him in. And yeah, with bot lane pushed in, BGM, I think, just have to make a play top, because that's the last standing outer tower. Maybe keep Greg, maybe rotate Jimmy down to mid lane to wave clear, because he has the teleport, rotate the rest of the team top. Maybe go for a dive on Hillary Clinton. Fish baby bot is here. Hillary does have flash, though. And with and like, is he the sitting primary. on a ward? He is not sitting on a oh, ward because it's pinked. Old bear trap on the rope use, and he's gonna go in the lanes. The flag and drag, perfect. But oh, the flash out of the cataclysm, very nice. But because the Aerith artillery gonna barely oh. get the kill. Jimmy's gonna be the one to pick it up. Very nicely played from just that entire three-man squad. But move them around a lot more oh, and have better team fights. So if they can get this turret, it frees up. This is actually. I'm not sure about this tower trade actually because no, I don't like tower trade either. Yeah. Oh, that what was that dodge? Did you see that hook? Actually, that was no. like it. It looked like it went through almost. Well, like, actually, it looked like it should have hit. If BGM but... stops the backs, they can get a second tower. In which case, I don't mind the trade. But also, Brew are rotating up. They're looking for this flank. Actually, it's. It's just a four man plus small hill like Clinton. Yeah, this could be a 5 before. Oh god, oh. there's the knock up on the lab. Oh, but they're gonna find a random guy. And just, oh. oh my, that was just. That, that's. I'm sorry, that was just horrendous positioning. No, you uh, were and it right. wasn't it's just on random guy. Like, who rotating up, they kind of just left him out to dry. And just yeah, that's let one thing that's on like super big on uh, Miss Fortune. I mean, yeah, she does a crap ton of damage, but, like, if you have issues with positioning on her, that's where it really becomes troublesome, because she's like so immobile that she's easily jumped on. Oh, but here Mark's gonna find Gurg 7, go lay down the damage, chunk him to half health. Bear Jr. is here as well, they're gonna peel off, Harold they're just gonna go on to Bear Jr. Look, okay. they're not gonna hit, they get the Harold anyway. And while Hillary Clinton has found Piper is, is, is on the side, Bear Jr. did not go down. This is just the 5v4 right now. Random guy is jumping in from base. The artillery coming in from Zareth. Oh, apparently take down oh, Hiromar. He flashes and barriers. Oh. Cataclysm is up for Fish Baby. He doesn't use it onto Hiromar. He's looking for it, though. Oh, not going to land. And the That's Nature's awesome. Grasp coming out does oh. catch Bear Jr. And Die. he's going to go down to his sin. Your full time coming out. Not doing much of anything. And they're just going to find a kill onto Labby. And Fish Baby gets another one. And yeah, BGM just continuing to steamroll. Yeah. 3 0 7 for Fish Baby. They're just oh so good about their front line. Like, the initiation is just ridiculous. Like their team fighting is just so good. Like, I guess it's a team fight comp, but God. Like, and Fish Baby has been like. Like, Thresh and Kled are like the hard engages. And that's, you know, if Bear Jr. can land a hook, which I mean, he's good at. It's just less reliable than, you know, Alistair Headbutt Pulverize or Maokai Twisted Advance. He also or even hasn't, a Cataclysm from Jarvan. He hasn't really been hitting them this game, even. I think, uh, I honestly, I don't think it's that he's missing them. I think it's more... Oh, there's the cutout. I'm assuming he's saying something about BGM playing around them. It... Come after that, Piper is just countering these hooks with those tumbles. It's so clutch. Well, and, but, we are getting positioning around Baron, but Bear Senor is here. Flash is in there? That was after the headbutt pulverized. That was honestly a little, little bit weird. Might have been a little bit too aggressive. That was that. a little bit odd, but Gook's having flashing forward. No, Fish Baby Bear. Bot, yeah, the Cataclysm's up. They're gonna find Bear Jr. Eventually. Who gets the kill? Fish Baby Bot gets the kill. 
or yeah, they, uh, seven. he has a Black Cleaver that might be bear. It's just a support. I think a Baron off that oh. pick is risky. I honestly, I, I would have to debate you on that because while it was just the support, Bear Jr. is probably their best form of engage That's and true, playmaking. Yeah. Um, and if so they send anyone else in, they can just they just get blinded. Right. They will go for a safer play. We'll just pick up this Cloud Dragon, which I think is the right call personally. But absolutely, with how they're trying to rotate out, it'll benefit them. Oh yeah, so. Too. Ocean and uh, air, the dragons haven't been particularly kind to them this game, but it's not like dragons are ever useless. Like right. they're well, gonna and, have they're gonna have great rotated siege power. And it's been it call it from playing with General Dill so much, but like I have grown to respect the Cloud Drake. Uh, oh, well, this, Piper's it, gonna yeah, find yeah. random guy. Great up, there's one bye -bye. fighting this there's a sword shield from Piper. Bye bye. Yeah. So this fortune cannot be split pushing right now because even if just a thing shows up, like she's straight up, straight up dead. And they spawn the Rift Herald. They're gonna get this tower. Should be no contest yeah. even. Labby and I think, honestly, I think the biggest issue so far that I'm seeing with this game is just the positioning from Pooh. Um, a lot of times, misfortune, whether by herself or from their team, is just like out and alone and with how heavy engaged that they've got on the side of BGM it's almost like a death sentence that's a thrash pun by the way um I wasn't sure if that was intentional well they got the inhib but Jimmy's still going on to Bear Jr. actually maybe a bit of that's a good gonna have to burn the nature's grass but they're gonna melt Laddie forced out his chrono ship but they're going after Hiramar Barrier forced out, but the Cataclysm and Fish Baby has too much damage. He's unstoppable right now. Bear Jr. gets melted as well. This might just be gamed right now for PM. Bear Senor doesn't go down either. Are they gonna just back out? Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna back out. Take kills and back out. Or they're just gonna go mid. Well, and, and, like Garrett was saying, like, it, a lot of it's come down to positioning. But they don't have a front line, so... Yeah. So, MF can't stand there and ult because she'll just have to run away or she'll die as she's trying to ult. Clinton Whereas, was in the top lane that entire time. Yeah. That was a five permanent 5v4. Five and I've mentioned, I've talked to him about this a couple times. I don't know if I mentioned it on stream yet, but he. Did. Seven, stay in the back lane and just oh. ult and land his Qs from a million miles away. Yeah. And then let Vayne kind of like, go in afterwards. But, like. Yeah, it is just a big factor. It's a big deciding factor, and they just they have so many ways on on BGM to punish anybody that's out of position. Like I mean, they they do on boot or on, on poo too, but it's more reliable CC from BGM to catch somebody out. You know, yeah. that's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Like yeah. I get what Pooh's comp is trying to do, like, use use the Kled to try and just let your Echo uh, and Thrush kind of run at the enemy team and hook them out, but... That's such a snowball -y comp, though, if they're gonna do that. Yes, they have a Vigar for... Like, I think it's the happen. fun part, too, is that they don't really... I think the scaling is also way better on the side of BGM. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, um, yes. They have Vigar on Pooh, I mean, and... MF is like okay, she even scale. in late game. She does, she, but she not as hard as Vayne. As hard as Vayne. No, no, Vayne's not even close. And the fact that Piper's five zero oh, and six, it just hold up. Jimmy picked up a Knight's foul, <laughs> and it also apparently Clinton has picked up some BGM members on his tail. Which maybe you know, use the Cataclysm just on the Bear Junior. Try to get that pick. And no one has gone down yet. Not even that much damage. Oh, but that static oh. shift just melting Labby Bear Junior just and got. Labby. That static oh. shift proc from Viper was just... Ugh. Labby just Labby. got it's hard. But Ooh, Piper's, oh. Piper has damage. Yeah, they can't really threaten Jimmy as long as Piper exists. But yeah, that was on the jungle pretty much... There's a bear. Yeah, I'd say that's barren, especially since Labby's gone. No contest. Um, it's no contest for Pooh, they can't. Yeah, I pr I'm pretty sure I saw something that bad about what happened to Labby on websites that I will not mention. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it was pretty... Uh, pretty Yahoo.com Yeah, Yahoo Video is the way to go. Video.yahoo.com <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Uh, oh, they found the bear junior. Ish, the stun? Oh, the stun's gonna land. Yeah. I. Nick is up there by himself. Don't even have there's, commentary for that. There's bear just nothing that they killed. can do. 
there, he honestly, Bear Jr. shouldn't have even been up there. Like, 1v5 defending a tower. Like, two spells and the camera. entire wave is gone. Who uh, just. Who just looks not good this game? Like, that's not very deep analysis, but, like. Just well, I, I, I get what you're saying, Rich. Like, well, but they. The flash coming really... in from Bear Senor onto Hillary Clinton. Oh my he god. He uses back, it does not get damage. Cosm actually doesn't hit anyone because flashes. But. They just, they, there's just too much damage, and it almost seems like, from what I could tell from, um, Piper, ooh, the tumble actually get predicted that time, and Piper just coming in, but, oh, Jimmy just blows up random guy, but, there's oh, this is Emblo, this fight. could be the fight, oh. Piper is on his own oh, flashes Piper. over the wall, gets oh Bear Jr., and he's in a 1v3, could he get this? Takes Hillary Clinton off Scarl, double kill for the vein. They're going on Hillary Clinton, burns the heal. One more. Oh, there's the flash into the E. See, now Hiramar needs to give this vein a quadra, otherwise, he's not going to place very well in the standings from the panel. Just the. <laughs> <laughs> Just the triple kill, but Piper finishing that out in style. But Jimmy, Jimmy also ruining <laughs> his KDA. That is definitely BG. And 20 oh minutes, God. BGM just steamrolling over Pooh. I honestly Not think it was I... a lack of organization. I think that uh, Pooh Jr. was caught off guard and had to play from behind. And I don't necessarily think that their team was designed to do that with Kled and Misfortune. Um, from what I can tell. I think it might have caught them off guard a little bit. Um, just with how easy their engage was um, from uh, BGN. Also, it didn't help that when Misfortune finally gets off of good bullet time, he's got a Maokai on top of him, blowing him up. He, like, I feel him, but uh, that, uh, that, was, that was just brutal from BGM right there. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to cut... Um, I'll put I'll put the MVP poll in the interview first. Actually, um, in the what's it called? Uh, you, you cut out, Rich. What did you say? Um, I'm putting the MVP poll in Twitch chat. Who's oh. your guys' MVP? Uh, I I don't want to sound biased because I play Alistair, but I seriously think that Bear Senior was spot yeah. on on that champion, like Dude. completely Same. capitalizing on the lack of positioning from Pooh. Um, just straight up, and he played the laning phase well too. Like that's what got. Me. Oh, there's a cutout. Rip. Oh. And on Alistair into Thresh, which is a good pick. I mean, Alistair is the highest win rate support right now, but he just played that laning phase so well, and it's something that I have to work on because uh, I'm a little bit too aggressive when it comes to my champions. But he played that passively so well. And it just allowed Piper to get ahead. Yeah, no, I have to agree. Like, the Alistar was actually disgusting. It was so good. And he had a good skin, too. But... I would almost have to go with Fish Baby Bot. Fish Baby Bot is up there, too. Just, definitely, yeah. Just because he was there. Every single time there was any sort of fight breaking out, he was there, like, I felt like he was there starting it. Um, and... Just the fact that he was able to go bot a couple times and get that vein steamrolling, essentially. Because um, don't get me wrong, Piper played a great game as well. Um, but they were able to get that vein ahead, and then especially had some rooms top as well. Oh, rip. Uh, I can't even deal with this quarter right now. <laughs> Well, okay, yeah, drop your MVP votes in the poll. We're going to take a sh real quick break, like 10 seconds, just to cut the VOD. But we will be right back for game two of, what's this, BGM versus Pooh.